How do you feel about Beto O'Rourke interrupting the town hall meeting to speak? Greg Abbott literally said it could have been worse. This is one of the worst school shootings in us history. He is fully justified to say something needs to be done, Abbott is harping about mental health yet won't fund it. This is no time for political grandstanding decree Abbott, a politician, on a grandstand. If this was just the chief of police, the Uvalde mayor and the principal of the school, I would say his interruption would have been in bad taste. But this was his political opponent using the stage as his own spot to make a stump speech. Abbott literally went on to brag about books he passed three years ago and that he would work in the future, read, next term, to make it tougher for this to happen. The moment Abbott mentions laws he's created or will create, he's speaking as a candidate, not as the governor. With that being the case, Orark is not only valid in interrupting, he's technically due equal air time to rebut. Add in that his point was 100% valid and felt by so many people in the valley since the El Paso shooting, and he's incredibly justified in his actions. Isn't this what town halls are supposed to be for? It's supposed to be a chance for citizens, which includes Beto, to say what's on their mind. There's nothing wrong with interrupting someone when there is an emergency they're doing nothing about. I don't see the sense in politely letting someone say their lie. Sometimes you gotta do something to get someone's attention. By all accounts, this is a very tame way of doing that and it speaks to how politically inert our country is that what Beto did is considered rude. Was it politically motivated? Yeah probably, he's a politician. Do I care? Not at all. Frankly I'd like it if for the foreseeable future none of these ghouls could get up in front of a mic without someone holding their feet to the fire and calling out their cowardice. How do you feel about AR-15s interrupting our children's ability to simply learn? I have no idea why this question caught my interest but here goes. Frankly, I don't know how to feel. On the one hand, I support calling out Governor Abbott over the policies they support. I do believe that we need stronger laws governing gun access, and I believe we need to find a way to address the issues in our American society that create these domestic terrorists. On the other hand, I can't help but draw from my own experience as a survivor of a high school shooting. After the shooting at my high school, the very last thing on my mind was gun control, politics, and how to move forward. I simply wanted to be left alone and grieve everything I and my community lost that day, the life of my friend, the trauma inflicted on myself and my community, and the joy of graduation to name a few things. During the aftermath, there were two events that stick out in my mind. First, the vigil in honor of the life lost there were speeches from our local government officials regarding how they would never let something like this happen again. This felt comical. My state has had 28 school shootings in the past 50 or so years. And nothing has slowed or significantly addressed these problems it felt so patronizing. Sitting in this stupid gymnasium. It wasn't even our school, it was still a crime scene. While this far off man in a suit promised us we would be the last to go through this tragedy. While our representative was making promises and asking our political support for his cause since. It was an election year. My classmates and I simply. Left. Just got up and left. We just wanted to grieve. We wanted to be allowed to grieve in our own way. We held our own informal vigil outside. In the parking lot. It was a beautiful moment. Where we constructed a basic memorial for our fallen classmate. The focus was on healing, on grieving, and on what had been lost, not politics. Second, was the phone calls, the emails, the spam, the letters, all this solicitation for money, for votes, for pledges of support. I just wanted to go to our community events, grieve, heal, and support my friends. It honestly disgusted me how shamelessly these gun activist organizations were soliciting vulnerable people for money. Frankly this pissed me off. It felt so disingenuous, and seemed like they didn't actually care about the cause they supposedly championed. And now, three years later, I've started to feel more alive, pick myself up, and move forward, 
As a part of the future I want. I would like terrorism events like this to be a thing of the past I wish those politicians could have delivered on their promise my school would be the last so. I feel conflicted. I support the act of holding Gov. Abbott's feet to the fire. I want change. On the other hand, I get the don't politicize school shootings thing. I want to give the victims the space and time they need to heal. And when and if they are ready. When and if they want to. They can enter the political arena. I suppose. So long as this act does not blow back on the victims of this tragedy and they are able to grieve. At their own pace. Good on Beto O'Rourke. But when I put myself in the shoes of these victim families. Based on my experience. I simply have no trust in any of these politicians to produce any real change. In light of that distrust, I would rather be left to grieve than trotted out for political theater that won't matter in the end anyways. I found my local politicians to be annoying, rather than helpful or representing me. Certainly, there will be others who feel differently than me. Maybe tragedy like this would energize them and make an activist out of them. The parents of my friend who died are heavily involved in anti-school shooting and gun control activism now. However, they were simply too broken by the loss of their only child to be activists in the immediate aftermath, and only truly became involved about a year after. TL. DR. I have really complicated feelings about this incident because I support holding Gov. Abbott accountable but my own experiences make me feel like this is all a political charade that will mean nothing in the end and possibly annoy the victims. I think there's no better time or place to confront an elected official about an issue. Elected officials really are responsible to their constituents. Whether they like that uncomfortable fact or not. O'Rourke had every right to call out Abbott and his flunkies for their mealy-mouthed excuses. Texan here. I've been active in local politics since Beto's run in 2018. The situation here is dire. As Beto described once he was outside the building. I can't express enough. Especially if you don't live in Arizona or Georgia type place. How much gerrymandering and voter suppression is happening here. The SOS rejected so many of the mail-in ballots during 2020. Then the new district lines were just finalized. It is worse than we thought. The mood in TX is making volunteers not only want to stay home because of the hopelessness of winning seats. People are actively moving out of this state. Beto is one of the few showing Texans what they should expect from their leaders. It is very divisive to stand up to the cult think around here these days. As it gets closer to election day, the pettiness from Republicans afraid of change is going to get worse. So displays like this that are peaceful yet disruptive are not only wanted. They may be the only way forward. So little has changed in four years but Texas has an opportunity this November to usher in a change of leadership. We have been registering new and infrequent voters every month. I still have hope. But I'm tired and seriously considering moving elsewhere before I think about becoming pregnant too. Start my family. Send help to TX before November if you can. Not like the people on that stage were ever going to actually do anything other than talk. Might as well interrupt them definitely the right move because Thurston High School Columbine High School Heritage High School Deming Middle School Fort Gibson Middle School Buell Elementary School Lake Worth Middle School University of Arkansas Junipero Serra High School Santana High School Bishop Newman High School Pacific Lutheran University Granite Hills High School Lou Wallace High School Martin Luther King Jr. High School Appalachian School of Law Washington High School Conception Abbey Benjamin Tasker Middle School University of Arizona Lincoln High School John McDonough High School Red Lion Area Junior High School Case Western Reserve University Ricori High School Ballou High School Randallstown High 
School Bowen High School Red Lake Senior High School Harlan Community High School Campbell County High School Millwee Middle School Roseburg High School Pine Middle School Essex Elementary School Duquesne University Platte Canyon High School Weston High School West Nickel Mine School Joplin Memorial Middle School Henry Foss High School Compton Centennial High School Virginia Tech Success Tech Academy Miami Carroll City Senior High School Hamilton High School Louisiana Technical College Mitchell High School E. O. I am a Texan. In that moment, Beto represented me. We tried thoughts and prayers and nothing changed. Glad to see someone trying something at all. Video footage of cops restraining parents from trying to rescue their children. HTTPS. U2.be slash a 6 w Watch any part of this video. And try to tell me that nothing needs to change. We should all be interrupting town hall meetings. I'll tell you. I woke up this morning fantasizing of something in the presser that involved a reaction more severe than this, and had to take some time to calm myself down. So given that, I felt like his response was the bare minimum of what should be happening right now. A bit of civil disobedience is that something I would happily be willing to be a part of at this point. Good for him. It always kills me when people say things like, now is not the time. Well then, when is the time? Not a fan of Beto but this was a great move. People are calling it political showboating etc. Who cares? Isn't that what thoughts are payers are anyway? Civility in politics usually caters to those who are in no danger of being hurt, affected by the policies being discussed. While those who are in danger of having their rights removed are told they need to remain civil while debating for their rights. Fuck that. Policymakers should feel uncomfortable when their decisions are negatively impacting their constituents. They should feel unsafe if their choices are making your life unsafe. How dare Beto politicize a shooting while Governor Abbott was towing his political line in. Deflecting blame from his donors. What he did was completely fair. The only thing that isn't fair is that our children keep getting murdered in class and Republicans do everything they can to shoot down gun control or mental health care bills. Make no mistake, gun control and universal health care are both things that Republicans don't want. Seeing that circle jerk of cowboy hat wearing tools for 15 minutes of fame up on that stage was all I needed to see. Beto is fine for what he did. Was no more political stunt than the Abbott and for show bros next to him. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.